Ahead of the one year anniversary of the invasion, I led a congressional delegation to Ukraine, including Representative Issa and self who sit on this committee. We met with the Prosecutor General Costin, who is before us here today. He personally escorted us to Bucha to see the site of the first mass grave discovered, and we met some of the first victims of Russian war crimes. And as this war rages on, these war crimes have only continued. Following the liberation of Kyrgyzstan, which was under Russian occupation for eight months, more horrors have been discovered. Russian soldiers had taken old detention centers and converted them into torture chambers. Those subject to these torture chambers included journalists, civil servants, teachers, and random citizens. They were subjected to electric shock torture, ferocious beatings, suffocation, and waterboarding. They even discovered a children's cell specifically used to torture and abuse children. Tens of thousands of children have been kidnapped, handed over to Russian families, and forced into pro-Russian re-education systems. These are more than war crimes. These are more than crimes against humanity. What we are witnessing in Ukraine is genocide. History will judge this moment and ask what we did to stop this. No country can remain neutral in the face of such evil. Genocide must not be tolerated by the free world. You can't be human and not feel the evil that has been done to our witnesses, to the Ukrainian people. You can't be human. It's devastation. You can't be human and see as I have seen traveling to both Ukraine and Poland, the torture, the devastation, the destruction of families. Never thought in the year 2023, you would see such devastation again. We heard the representative talk. Could you imagine the scars of that witness that we have in the back? They will last a lifetime. The scars, the trauma. The young children who as you see and I've seen on the streets, that trauma will be with them for a lifetime. The decimated towns and cities that Russia's illegal war has caused. For what? For what? What I want them to know, we feel your pain, we hear your voices, and the voices of all of your compatriots. And we cannot let your suffering be in vain. 